huge fight in her career, and it happens right now in front of a capacity crowd. There have been a lot of expectations placed upon this young lady, and largely, given her well-rounded skill set, she has lived up to all of them and then some. We didn't know what to expect when she made her debut, but she showed such a well-rounded skill set that you immediately start going, wow, this girl's got a ton of potential. She has exceeded our expectation, but right now, she has got to step up once again if she wants to continue her assault on her division. She's well-rounded, but she's got a tough opponent in front of her tonight. But like if my daughters could be as good at any one thing as this woman is, at all of these skills, and I say that with respect, they might actually turn out to be something. So here's the former UFC strawweight queen, Thug Rose Namajunas. She's a very interesting individual, DC, because as much as she is a lifelong martial artist and loves to train, there's something about fight night and all of the accompanying emotions that she really doesn't care for. Yeah, she doesn't love it all that much, but she loves the preparation for getting in the octagon, and once she arrives there, she usually will give her best self. She's a fantastic striker. Showed that in the second Nama Yunus fight, right. but don't forget about all the submissions that she had from her time on the Ultimate Fighter, her time in Invicta, all the way to becoming the striker that we saw knock out Young Jacek to win the UFC title. When she is at her best, as she was in that first round against Jessica oh. Andrade, most people believe that she is still the best straw weight in the world. She will try to prove it again here tonight. Another big spot for Thug Rose Nama Yunus. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Kayla Harrison. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Fog Rose Namajunas. One of the best in the business, Herb right. Dean is our referee right. tonight. Good. All right, wheel underway. Here is Doug Rose Nama Yunus with Trevor Whitman in her corner. She's not afraid to let the fight come to her. Certainly has some first-round finishes to her credit. Angela Hill, UFC 192, comes to mind. But this is a fighter who gets stronger as the fight goes on. We'll see how Nama Yunus approaches things here in the early go. Lands the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike gets home. This is a terrible position. Oh, she's got head movement even off of her back, huh? Nice slip there. She's being proactive. She's not sitting and waiting until her opponent throws. She's moving in advance, and it's allowing her to evade these strikes. Right the side control, yep. Looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. That was a slick transition. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finisher. She's looking for the finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot to the top. Right into side control. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluid. Oh, setting up another submission now. Oh, that is wicked tight. She might have it. Wow, 
it looked like the arm might end the fight. Instead, she gets out. It was over, and that's so discouraging for the opponent to survive something like that. Hats off to this young lady in her submission defense. Staying busy from bottom position here. A nice combination of elbows there by Namagu. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to... Oh, Kimura attack. Yep. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Submission defense on display by this young lady. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up submissions to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these submissions will be used to reverse the position. Even if it gets defended, it will create space for her to try to get back to her feet or maybe to steal a sweep and trick her opponent. Oh, heavy kick to the bottom. Oh, sounds for the end of round one. All right, All right, so there's the end of the round. We're gonna get you some replays here. Her submission offense is outstanding. Just unable to get... You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, on. let's get to round two. She works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Attack the body! All right, so we'll see how soon she goes to the single leg. Takedown goes for it right there and gets it. I mean, when we spoke to her earlier in the week, she told us what she was going to do. Right? It's insane to watch her implement it so beautifully. Well, if you read her fighter bio, you know she loves the elbows, and that has certainly been one of her weapons of choice tonight. She loves it because it's so brutal. She really wants to damage her opponents, and tonight she's doing exactly that. Oh, reverses the position now. Beautiful work by her on the ground there. Nice job by Namayuks. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. All right, so not exactly the kind of fight or approach we expected to see out of this decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu contest, but perhaps this will be the round in which she attempts to take it. Well, you hope to see it, right? Because everything else builds off of her strongest strength. She's so good at grappling, she's so good on the ground, that she has to shoot takedowns. If she becomes one-dimensional, she's not nearly as difficult a puzzle to crack. And right now, you can see that that's the case. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Well, she was a little bit hesitant. She's all the way into it, and now this could be the beginning of the end for her. It seems like we are in the final act of the four-part play, because this fight is about done. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, nice body shot. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect them. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent... So they want to be a fighter. Back and forth we go between two of the best women in the world. That'll land it clean. Oh, she cracked. Strike of the Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effective. She's nasty on the ground, and now she's covered in looks like a side strike. You've never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? She's getting up. Yep. Big left hand there inside. There it is again. So there's the horn. The round is over, and for her, it couldn't have come at a better time. That keeps her in the fight, folks. She got knocked down near the end of the round. You got to think if there were 10 more seconds, she might have been concussed. In that. All right, so the big moment in that previous round was the knockdown. We'll get to the replay now. DC, take us through it. She was able to get her chance. 
she was able to find her moment. She recognized that an opportunity presented itself. She took it and landed that beautiful. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Beautiful transition. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the ball. Well, Nama Yunus is trying for a Kimura here. Oh, she might have that locked in. If she doesn't lose her, her wrist, if she takes her time to try to finish this fight. Wow, I thought she might succumb. She gets out. I thought she was going to sleep. I thought it was over. Keep the pressure going on that Pretty accurate there from bottom position. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Oh. She's got to keep pressing if she wants to finish the fight. Across the midpoint of this one. Dates right into the body and she is clearly hurt. She's hurt very bad. I don't know if she's able to recover from this. Oh! Back to the feet now. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Great defense to stay safe. Draw reversal there. She's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moved. And very effective with the ground and pound. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. All right, so the ladies make their way back to the feet. Nice job by her there, and the crowd is just lapping it up. Yeah, they're loving her willingness to fight to get back to her feet. She never accepted being on the bottom, so even though it was difficult, Stop she got it done, and Stop now it. she looks to impose herself on her opponent. Couple hammer fists there. For the and that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so with some urgency, the cut man making his way inside the octagon here at the end of the round. Quickly, they get her back to the stool. They got to work on that cut, and quickly. Well, well, no surprise to see her opponent continue to attack that cut on the bridge of her nose. Nasty cut on the bridge of her nose. She wasn't moving her head, and she is now paying for it. Her opponent now... You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight. fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, nice double leg, guys. Oh, her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. Attempting a choke now. Oh, she's got the arm triangle locked in tight. She's got it in deep now. Good as that as she gets out. She is so aware of the ground and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Rose Nama Yunus. The ground strikes continue to pile up. I need you to scramble. Lands an elbow there. Nice job by Nama Yunus. Oh, really good strikes by her here in top position. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. 
Working in half guard here, making these shots count. She is so dominant from the top position. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Ooh, she might be in real trouble now. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, four seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Fog Rose Namayunas! Fog Rose Namayunas, your winner tonight, still proving that on any given night she's the best strawweight in the world. She's one of the best fighters in the world, and anytime she goes to the octagon, you better be ready and prepared for a very tough fight.